Something I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul We are heroes tonight Guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, my name's Joe, and you're watching Living on Wheels. Uh, today we have a video that I've been requested to make by a number of different people, um, and I'm finally getting around to making it. So, in today's video, we're going to cover what my gauge system is for my truck, and why I like it, some different features of it, um, and then at the end, we'll probably, or I'll go over. Um, a couple things that I don't like about it. So, to start off with, um, without too much rambling, um, this is actually the second time I filmed this video. Uh, I lost all the audio on every clip from the first video, uh, which absolutely sucks, but <laughs> we're gonna film it again. So, I have the Edge CTS 2 Insight. Now the CTS Insights, or the Edge Insights, um, are basically a digital monitoring system that plugs into your OBD2 port um, that can pretty much read any sensor you have on your truck as well as gives you the ability to add sensors. Um, as far as price goes, it's high 400s I believe to get the monitor um, which seems like a lot but when you compare it to a full set of like ISPRO gauges um, it's about the same price. Uh, the big advantage of this is one It's plug-and-play you simply Figure out where you want to put it run one cable and plug it into your OBD2 port as opposed to the Analog gauges that you're running all the illumination wires for each one you have the individual wire for each sensor and you're limited to um, Whatever gauges you choose which goes into the next point of why I chose to go with this system um, and that's because, like I said, you can monitor literally any sensor on your entire truck. It'll pretty much monitor it, or as far as powertrain goes. Um, so you're not stuck with whatever four gauges you buy. Um, you have pretty much limitless options of what you're able to use it for. Um, so I'm going to turn it on and kind of show you guys a little bit about it um, and talk about it. So it's as simple as... Take the key, turn it on. It'll start up. Um, it is a little slow, but for the most part, it's... You'd be waiting for your truck to warm up anyways, or giving it a little time to warm up at least, and it'll start up long before that point. Um, so it never bothers me, um, for the most part, with how long it takes to warm up. I'll go a little more in depth on that later, but as you can see, here are all of the gauges. So looking at it, you can see that I have it set up where I have what's three, four, twelve different gauges running on this one screen. Um, so like I said, as opposed to the analog gauges where you maybe have four, um, more than that if you start stacking them in different places around your truck. But for the most part, it's usually three or four gauges that you're getting for the price. This one, I have 12 running on my screen at a single time. Um, I can change it to different screen setups um, that are a little less cluttered. Um, there's this one, and then I think there's one other where you have six individual, like they look like miniature gauges on your screen. Um, as you can see, um, it monitors live. I got my battery voltage down there. It's a little low right now because I keep running the truck um, or I keep having the truck on without actually running it trying to film this video. But we got the oil, temp or oil temperature, outside temperature, transmission temperature, fuel pressure, um, all of these different things that you can monitor. Um, two very important ones are your 
IPR regulator and your IPC or ICP pressure, which for seven threes are kind of the heart of the engine. Uh, you're not going anywhere if those aren't working right. Um, like I said, in general, this thing can monitor way more than I even need. Um, and for the price that you're paying, it's a heck of a deal, a lot better than, um, in my opinion, it's a lot better than the analog gauges. I like the look of the gauge pillar pods, um, but as far as function and price goes, I don't think you can beat this. Um, a couple of really important features of it that I have used many times um, are the fact that because it's plugged into your OBD2 port, you can go in and run diagnostic tests. So I won't have any come up right now, or I shouldn't, but read your trouble codes. And if you have a trouble code or a check engine light, you can see exactly what it is. Um, if it's something you want to clear, you can go through and actually clear your codes on your own um, from this device, which is super handy. Um, another nice feature of it is you can go in and set up all of your maintenance items so you can go through and set all of your different maintenance items that you want to schedule or keep track of so i have my air filter and i can go in and select the mileage of how long i want to go um, estimate wise um, same with all your oil filters and it'll give you an alert once it hits that mile um, area and so it makes keeping track of all your maintenance super easy. No more physical logs. You don't have to try to remember it. Anytime you do a maintenance item, you just go through, change it, and plug in the new number, and it'll update it and send you a message when you need to do it again. Um, super handy. Not a big deal. Um, it's just one of those convenience factors that makes life a little bit easier. Um, another really nice feature is data logging. Um, I'm not going to break out my computer and show you it in depth, but quick explanation you can go through let's say you're trying to get tunes set up for your truck you got bigger injectors and that take a little more um, custom tuning um, maybe you don't have a tuner in your area and so you're trying to work remotely so what you can do is actually go in run all these different data logs and then download that data onto your computer and send it to your tuner and you, then you don't have to worry about trying to describe what's happening. They can literally go in and see all the different parameters of your truck and adjust your tuning based on that. Um, really, really nice feature to have if you're looking into the custom tuning game, if you're doing your own custom tuning or um, yeah, anything like that. But in general, um, if you get the upgraded edge um, products, you can add the tuning onto this device itself. Uh, you can change the layout of all of it, do performance testing. Um, it's a super capable system. Like I said, it's basically the same price as uh, analog gauges, but you have basically full access to your truck's computer. Obviously, you're not going to be tuning stuff yourself through this device, um, but as far as monitoring goes, you have access to everything, um, and that's why I chose this system. So we're gonna get the truck fired up. One, to charge my battery up a little bit. Um, I have my air dog running constantly um, when my key is in the on position. Um, but two, to show you guys how it functions um, while it's running. There you go, you got it. You can see the RPMs live, fuel pressure, um, ICP pressure, IPR pressure. Um, yeah, all the different things are running as they should. You got your engine oil temperature, transmission temperature, battery voltage is slowly working its way back up. Um, if I were to put it into high idle, see it'll bump up more, RPMs bump up. You can see the gear indicator, you can see when it locks the torque converter. In general, super handy system. Um, like I said, it's just a super, super handy system, and for the price, you can't beat it. Um, as far as setting it up goes, it's basically that one cable behind the monitor that runs down to the OBD2 port, and a super, super beneficial thing is you can add just about as many sensors as you want to this thing. Um, so I have 
an external temperature probe just to monitor the outside temperature. I have my fuel pressure probe added when I put in my, or when I built my full fuel system. Um, I'm not going to show you that guys, this, vid this video is going to get super long and it's just me talking. I don't want to bore you guys out, but I do have a video of all those pigtails when I added that sensor if you want to go check it out. Um, it's basically just a wire that runs in, connects, or comes into the main power wire for the unit and it all connects through there. It's a super simple, clean, super simple and clean system. Um, I'm very happy with it. Now, as far as things that I'm not happy with, um, two things really. Um, start with one see that I have mileage down there in the bottom center um, that's the mileage coach system um, it kind of works on how you're driving it tells you if you're increasing or decreasing mileage but I would say for a stock truck that the mileage is pretty accurate it works well uh, but as soon as you start adding power and changing things within the system and engine it's not accurate at all, not even close. Um, if I put it on a hot tune, I could easily get my mileage up to over 30 miles per gallon on the highway based off that sensor, which is completely inaccurate. Um, it doesn't necessarily surprise me because you're changing so many things within the engine and the tuning of the computer and everything, but just something you guys should know that the mileage isn't really accurate. Not a big deal, I hand calculate all my mileage anyways. Um, another one that is a little more frustrating, um, and my last problem I've had with it, by the way, I've owned this truck for, or I've owned, been running this system for a little over two years now. Um, so as far as having these two issues, I'm uh, pretty happy with it. But second issue is, let me turn off the truck so I can show you guys. But, so you turn off the truck and the computer will shut down on its own. Um, it doesn't shut off right away. It takes a couple minutes. Um, but so computer shuts down. Let's say you're doing some wiring in your truck or you want to test something out where you're just turning on the key power or maybe how about this more practical. You are getting ready to get out of your truck. Um, maybe you left your windows down and you realize that so you turn your key back on to power up the truck not all the way you don't want to turn on the truck but turn your power turn the key to the on position and you can roll up your windows turn the key back off and get out um, I think we all do that a problem with the system is because it takes a little bit to boot up if you turn your key on it'll start the boot up process then you roll up your windows and turn the key back off and it totally screws up the boot up process your system keeps trying to boot up but there's no thing there's nothing for it to read because your truck's not on so to show you guys I will turn my key on and it will start the boot up process as you can see now let's say, waiting, waiting, let my windows roll up and they're good. I'll turn the truck back off and it keeps trying to boot up. And as you can see, or as you will be able to see, um, it'll start to have an issue um, as it starts trying to load all the signals from the truck that aren't there anymore. Um, so it's loading the gauges, it'll keep loading and it'll keep loading this takes longer because it's trying to figure out what's wrong and then it will give you the error message of that it'll say that there's communication error um, it couldn't read the signals basically so you'll just tap on the screen not a big deal you know why but it will stay like this until you reset the system um, this won't go away. If you do this, get out of your truck and park it for the night, this will stay on the entire night. Um, ask me how I know what's happened to me. Came out, monitor was still on. Um, didn't kill my battery or anything. It doesn't take that much juice. Um, it's more of just an annoyance. And the only way to reset it is to basically unplug the monitor either at the back of the monitor or at the OED2 port and reset the system. Um, 
like I said, it's not the end of the world. I've lived with it for two years, and it doesn't happen that frequently, but it happens frequently enough that it is a little annoying. Um, I've gone in, updated the software on the system. It is what it is, I guess. Um, but as far as the price you pay for the system as a whole, it's an awesome system. Um, I'm not complaining. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to switch it out because of those two issues. I'm keeping it. I like it. And that's that. Um, I know this video might be a little boring to some of you people, um, but I think this might be the best gauge setup for a diesel truck out there. Um, looks aside, some people might like the look of the screen, some people might not. I like it. It's simple. It's easy. keeps the truck clean. Nonetheless, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. I know it was a lot of talking. But that's basically what it is, just explaining this video, and that's probably why I put it off for so long. Um, yeah, if you made it this far, thanks for sticking along. Um, all the watch time helps the channel grow, and the channel has been growing great, thanks to you guys. Um, if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up, or a like. Um, if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you and answer them the best I can. Um, if you run the system on your truck, and you like it or don't like it, um, share your experience let other people learn um, building this in a community where hopefully people can learn um, from different truck enthusiasts and different um, truck owners um, if you're new um, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel like I said thanks for sticking around I'll catch you on the next video we will fly above the sky